United USA 2020 and beyond. Check it out. It's always like a mystery grab bag at the holidays with this guy. You never know what he's going to say. There's a reason why it's been harder to get African-Americans initially to get vaccinated. Because they used to be an experiment on the Tuskegee Airmen and others. It's awful hard as well to get Latinx vaccinated as well. Why? They're worried that they'll be vaccinated and deported. Laura, there's so much wrong with those quotes. I don't know. I don't know where to start either, but dang, dude. Sleepy Joe, man. Wow. Okay. So some of you may remember there's uh, a movie came out about the Tuskegee Airmen. Lawrence Fishburne, you know, the guy that played Morpheus in The uh, Matrix. Uh, Great movie. I've actually got it in my uh, war movie collection. Um, DVDs and you know it's just it's just a ama- it's okay it's it's one thing to see somebody foul up n- once in a while right I mean we we've all been there we've all done that at some point we've made the mistake you know where we've we've confused something with something else right but when you see the leader of the free world making uh <laughs> mistakes like that I guess we can call them mistakes uh, on a regular basis where he's confusing stuff and then there seems to be a lot of racial undertone in my personal opinion here Uh, if you go back to some of Joe's videos and see him in uh, Congress and see him you know you know you can look back and see that he uh, he's been quite the He's, he's definitely a racist. I mean, this is the same guy that said if you voted for who? Trump? You're not. You ain't black. So, I mean, it, I don't know. If that's not racist, I don't know what is. But um, to confuse the Tuskegee Airmen with the Tuskegee Experiments um, and then use that as an example, it, <laughs> it's just, oh, no words. There's no more words necessary to describe this buffoon of an individual who is um, sinking our country like the Titanic. But then again, I doubt we'll ever have uh, another honest person in the White House ever again. But anyway, it is what it is. This fool is in. He said in the first hundred days, he's going to let the big banks once again write their own rules. Unchain Wall Street. They're going to put you all back in chains. Look, we need to reform the criminal justice to make sure black mothers feel confident when they send their child, their, their son out on the streets, it's going to be safe. We got to recognize. We got to recognize that kid wearing a hoodie may very well be the next poet laureate. And not a gangbanger. We have this notion that somehow if you're poor, you cannot do it. Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. Wealthy kids. Black kids. Asian kids. But if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, and you ain't black. Okay, so <clears throat> I can go on and on and show you guys more, but obviously you get the idea. About to meet if you haven't already. There's no doubt about them staying oiled and lubricated here. This is where you just throw up your arms and go for it. And then there are hugs that keep going and going and going. Joe Biden wouldn't let Hillary go as they met up. The vice president wouldn't unhand Hillary for almost 16 (laughs) seconds. Notice how many times she tries to tap out. She lets it go. He does not. Uh, She tap out. Nope. She's just, uh, no, he's still holding on. Okay, second tap out, for God's sake, Joe, you gotta let go. Times when he gently rearranges a young girl's hair and whispers in her ear, then rearranges some more. There's nothing pervy here. The VP knows he's on camera at these swearing-in ceremonies, and the parents are right there as he leans in for a kiss. (laughs) If you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, and you ain't black. The new leader of the free world, creepy racist Uncle Joe. Yes, if you agree, 
and you know what to do. Smash that like and share it.